Hey guys, it's Olympus the Loomer here and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make this Loomaker Roomy Koala which is designed by me. I asked you guys, well not really, I did not ask you guys. Um, but I posted this on my YouTube, an hour YouTube community post, um, community tab and um, some people were saying that I should make a tutorial on this one and I also posted this on Instagram and it got a lot of likes which is amazing. The amount of love that I've received from this koala is just, um, it's uh, so touching. Thank you guys so so much for all the love that you've given to this Lumigura Mikwala. So yeah, this is what we're going to be making today. As you can see, the ears have a white inner layer it's not really that visible here but yeah and it has the nose as well and the little arms and the little legs and yeah this is what we're gonna be making today and uh, let's get started with the materials that you guys we are gonna need that we guys are gonna need so first we are going to do, since this is a Lumi Gurumi project, we are going to need our hook. I have my rainbow loom hook here. The middle hook. I use that all the time. We are also going to need something to mark our rows. C-clip, S-clip, or a stitch marker. I'll be using a C-clip. We're also going to need our bands. So for this, we are going to need three colors, one for the body, one for the nose, and one for the inner layer of the ears. So for the body today, I'm going to be using the, the turquoise opaque here. For the nose, I'm going to stick with the black. And for the inner layer of the ears, I'm going to stick with white as well. Don't worry guys, band count will be in the description box below. So you can check that out. Um, you are also going to need something for the eyes. I will be using two 6mm safety eyes today. If you do not have any safety eyes, you can use beads as well, small beads or even bands, you just wrap it twice on your hook, creating three loops and then um, pulling through a band through all the loops on your hook and you're good to go. And lastly, you are also going to need some uh, stuffing. So I think so far these are all the materials that we are going to need and without further ado, let's officially start with our baby koala. So to start, let's just start by making our arms and legs and we are going to need two. So I have made one of each already. So this smaller piece is going to be for the leg and the longer piece for the arms. And it, the pattern is really easy. So yeah. So what we're going to do, let's do the arms first. For the arms, it is a magic ring of four stitches and we are going to do two rows after we do our magic ring. So let's do our magic ring. So just grab your hook, your band, and twist twice, like so, creating three loops on your hook. Then grab one band and slide this cap band onto that band, reclaim the other end, and we are going to push this right loop over the one on the left like so and let's just go back to our triple loop cap band or cap band and then grab another band oh we are using our body color for this by the way like so now you're gonna have three loops what you're gonna do is push these two right loops over the one on the left so let's do that two more times. So that's our third stitch. 
and do our last stitch of our magic ring. So that's number four. So let's count if we have four. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and the one on your hook is number four. So in the next two rows, we are just going to do two single rows, and I think I'm just going to do it with you guys since this is a small piece and it's only two rows. So what you're going to do is go to your first stitch and just stitch like normal. So grab a band, pull through that stitch only, reclaim the other end of the band, and stitch. Then go to your second stitch. Also, I'm, get, I'm taking a band from here to my, mark, mark my row. So I took one band, so that means this is for my first row. Go to your third stitch. And do the same thing. And stitch number four will be the ba um, band with a C-clip on. So, yeah. And then we are just going to take our C-clip off and put it to the new band that's on our hook. And we are going to do the same thing one more time. So, and also I just want to shout out a an, an, an Instagram friend of mine. She wants a shout out, so I'm giving it to her. She is Caitlin Campbell. Thank you so, so much, Caitlin, for supporting my looming. You are a blessing to me. Thank you so, so much. Um, anyway, so I'm on to my last stitch my band with a c-clip on so what i'm gonna do is just norm just like normal grab one band and i'm gonna pull this through everything including the stitch and after that I'll, i'm just gonna put this two loops on my hook first and then i remove my c-clip and then after that i pinch these two loops pinch them so that they don't go unravel and as you can see here so you have your um hanging band here and as you can see there's a stitch over here that one that loop you want to pull your band through that loop as well like so and just reclaim the other end so like that again let's do that so suppose so this is this was our previous stitch and the last stitch of the previous row. What we're gonna do is just um, grab a hold of this, make sure it's not gonna unravel, and make it face us. And we are gonna see this loop that's going um, diagonally to the right. We wanna insert our hook to that and just grab this band in, like so. And after we do that, we are just gonna put it onto our helping hook if you have one or um, save it for later so that's how you make the arms now let's make the legs the legs is similar to the arms just one row short so first we're gonna do a magic move of four stitches so I'm gonna go a bit quicker this time since I already showed you guys how to make a magic ring so that I could save some filming time too so just make your magic ring of four stitches and uh, if for you I'm going to click you can always always pause the video or slow it down in YouTube settings so I already have four stitches and after this I'm just gonna do one row around one row single around and we are gonna be done with uh, the legs I actually tried in filming this last week, but then it didn't go well. Um, the It was running late, be, well not really late, the weather was just dim, dark, because it was raining. So that's why I disregarded that and, you know, like started over again in this tutorial. Um, anyway, we are just going to do the same thing, so on our last stitch. Um, our stitch with a c-clip on we're just gonna pull through a band through everything every loop on our hook and grab that 
um, put the that band that we just pulled through on our hook and take our seat clip off and face this um, band towards us and we're gonna see this um, diagonal loop we're gonna put our hook inside of that and grab this band like that and um, so make yourself another one of your arms and another one of your legs and come back to me when you're done and we are going to start with our nose so come back to me when you're done hi so if you're in this part i'm assuming that you've made your two arms and two legs now let's make our last part which is the nose so what we're going to do is a magic and four stitches. So grab your black bands first or your nose color bands. However, this is not your typical magic ring. So I want you to listen carefully. So first, just grab your black band and make a triple loop cap band. And grab another band. Pull through and stitch. You want to go back to your cap band and do another stitch like so. So that's two stitches already. Our next stitch will just be a normal, but we are going to be doing a slip stitch. So go to your cap band, grab your next band for your next stitch, and just pull it through everything. Reclaim the other end and stitch. Don't pull it too tight. Just do a normal stitch. And go back to your cap band and undo your last stitch of your magic ring. So no slip stitches. And as you can see, if you put it forward, you can see this. Um, it is forming a vertical, um, vertical thing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's going to be the reason why I decided to put slip stitches is so that um, It's gonna have it's gonna keep its shape if I do not like if I just stick with four Stitches on our magic ring. It's just gonna look like a circle and not like a triangle So after you are done with that just grab your C club and put it to the band that's on your hook what we're gonna do now is is we're gonna make an increase in the first stitch here on our first stitch and for the first stitch of our increase we are gonna do a slip stitch if you do not know what an increase is it is stitching two stitches instead of one in one stitch so just do your slip stitch first if you do not do your slip stitches your nose will not go the right way so do your slip stitch first and go back to the first stitch and do your increase and you don't have to slip stitch just normal so for our next stitch we are going to do um, a single and we are going to do it in a slip stitch slip stitch then for our third we're going to do an increase and as you can see here it might be confusing because we did some slip stitch here. You are gonna go to the band with a bigger, um, bigger hole, um, bigger um, register. I don't know, but when you just look in the front, it you're gonna know that you're putting your hook to the right stitch when it, it's looking like that. So we're gonna do an increase here. And first stitch of the increase is going to be a slip stitch. And just go back in and do a normal. Like so. And for this one, we are going to just take our C-clip off for the last stitch. And do a slip stitch. Like so. And... Um, go to the stop stitch here so our second stitch for the next no our first stitch go to our, the next stitch here which is this one and we are just gonna 
grab a band and pull through everything. And that's how you do your nose. Be careful with all of those slip stitches that we have done. Slow this video down as much as possible for you to understand because the nose is a, one of the most important characteristics of our koala because, you know, it's something um, like distinct from them. So like if you do not do the nose correctly, then your koala will probably not look like a koala. So yeah, I hope I explained things well over there. But again, you can always replay, back, go backwards and slow down until you get the right thing, until you do the right thing. So here is our nose. I hope your nose is looking like this as well. And let's just keep this aside and we're gonna start with the body. So the head and the body comes off um, comes off, comes as one, so we're gonna do the head first and then down to the body. So let's start with our head. So what we're gonna do in the first row is a magic ring of five stitches and grab your body color for that. I already showed you guys how to make a magic ring so I'm gonna go a bit quicker here because storage I only have 64 gig storage in my um, phone I use my phone for filming and um, I've used 30 gig of it already well not really 30 gig it's 27 so I still have a lot of storage but like videos usually come of great storage capacity so that's why time is gold in filming <laughs> anyway once you're done with your five single stitches on your row of your magic ring, let's just count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. You're just going to take your C-clip and put it to the band that's on your hook. Our next row is going to be an increased row around. So we're going to do an increase. So two stitches in each stitch. So that's one st one stitch on a stitch. Go back to the same stitch to do your increase. And yeah, and also you guys, um, after this row, we are gonna end up with ten stitches. So, yeah. How's everybody? Let's talk. My life has been pretty crazy. Not like because of some um problems because of school i'm so occupied with school it is crazy but yeah we're fighting it we're fighting with it we're dealing with it and um yeah i actually didn't want to film this as well because i kind of feel tired with the overload of works but you know what I didn't also want to do any school works. I just wanted to relax, lay down on my bed and have some sleep and get ready for my afternoon classes. But like, I was just like, nah, I'll just film. Time's running. I don't want to waste time. So that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I, I'm not saying that because I'm forced, okay? I'm just sharing that I am tired of school. But we are fighting. We are fighters here. So okay um anyway once you are done with your increases around just take your seat up off and put it to the next to the new band that's on your hook and let's count if we have 10 stitches but yeah I, I i just hope that you guys are patient with me because i also have my life and my life is not just all looming i also have priorities like school let's say so yeah, I hope you guys understand that sometimes my schedule go like my schedule change and I might not be able to film um, a tutorial right away. So yeah, but I also want to thank you guys for being the most patient, the most loving, the most supportive people in my life ever. Thank you guys. Anyway, enough of the talking. We have wasted so much time. Let's count if we have 10. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is the one that's on our hook. Our next row is going to be single in an increase. And we are going to end with 15 stitches after this. So single increase around. And I'm sorry guys for any background noises. That vehicle was so loud. Every time I'm filming and then loud vehicles just start to like get in like clash in it irritates me i don't know like i don't want my videos to be so loud with all the background noises like for once let me experience a quiet and peaceful atmosphere environment at least to uh, make it up for you guys for all of my loud videos because of the background noises but you know we can't control it so like we just have to bear with it and accept what's you know what's provided with us what's you know accept anyway after you are done with your single increase, just take your z-clip off and put it to the new band that's on your hook. And let's count if we have 15 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh. I'm supposed to do an increase on my last stitch. And 15. That's what you get for talking too much, Olympus. Again, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. Our next three rows are gonna be repetitive. So we are going to... Um, we are going to do three single rows around. So, oh, <laughs> look at this weird band. Uh, three rows of single around. I'm gonna do the first row with you guys, and you're gonna have to post the video for you, the other two rows. And every after the rows, we are still gonna have 15, and as you can see, I'm starting with my first row already. We multitask here. No one asked, but, you know. Um, uh, also, you guys, fun fact, I took the thumbnail first, then this video. The thumbnail's pretty old now. I took it last week, before I was even planning on filming. So, we are advanced here. Our system is advanced. But it's also good, because I could just, you know, focus on the tutorial and um yeah it's already edited and ready to be posted once this guy is posted too for the thumbnail and yeah so i'm done with my first row so let's see each other one um let's see each other again once we are done with our two rows to do so see you Hey guys, so I'm back and I did my two additional rows done. So I'm done with my two additional rows and if you are too, this is how yours, your piece should be looking like so far. And as you can see, the silicone, I use silicone bands for this and the look is kind of bigger than the opaque bands. It's because these bands are kind of like stretched out through um, the silicone. 300 single so yeah but anyway let's proceed to our next row our next row is a single and a decrease if you do not know what a decrease is it is stitching two stitches together so let's do our single first so that's a single and our decrease so how i do my decrease is 
I grab the front loop of the first stitch that I'm going to be decreasing on and the back loop of the second stitch that I'm going to be decreasing on and I just pull a band through those and stitch like normal. So that's how I do a decrease. So that's a stitch and a decrease. Now let's do a stitch again in our decrease and stitch and decrease until we are and um, we are done with this row and after this row we are gonna have 10 stitches so just do your single decrease around after this we are gonna do one more row and after that one row we are gonna add our ears and our facial features and our stuffing so once you are done with your single decrease around, just take your band, I mean C-clef, and put it to the new band that's on your hook. And for this, let's count if we have 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So what we're going to do now is just make, um, do a single row around. Single row around. 1, 1, 1, 1 in everything. So yeah. Also, I was actually planning on filming this last Saturday and Sunday, but it was raining and it was dark too. So yeah, that's why. No one asked again, but yeah, thought I'd share. Anyway, just take your secret pop and put it to the bed your hook. Wow, Olympus the rapper. Anyway, no one cares. So. Just put that aside. Well, what we're gonna do is just clip it to the first stitch over here. And we are gonna do our facial features. So what we're gonna do first is um having you should have your C clip in like in this position and face your head. So this is the head and we have the C clip at the back. So what we're gonna do is we wanna add our nose in the middle. So just grab your nose. This might be confusing, but we're just really um, slip knotting it. And we should have this um, band, um, the part where the hanging band is downwards and put it in the middle and we are gonna slip knot it so you have our last row here we want to go to the row before that and put our slip knot that's where we are gonna slip knot for this bottom part and just insert it inside the tail, put the tail inside, and like so. Again, we are gonna um, tie this in or slip knot this in to our second to the last row. So, this is our last row, and our second to the last row, and slip knot. And what we're gonna do next for this top is go to um, the fourth row. And we are just gonna slip knot, having it in line, straight. And slip knotting it. And just grab this slip knot tail inside. So that's how you attach your nose, like that. Again, second for the bottom part where we have our um, first um, so attaching band, we want to attach it to the second to the last row, and then we're just going to align it on top and slip knot it on top as well, preferably on the third row 
What we're gonna do now is add our eyes wherever you want. I prefer my eyes to be um, in the middle of the nose where we have our magic ring here in line with that. Like so. So put your eyes wherever you think they look cute. And once you are satisfied with your eye placement, we can then start by doing our ears. And we are gonna stitch our ears. So we are gonna need some white bands for that and also our body color bands. While I'm um, preparing my bands, you may take this time to adjust your nose and your eyes. Um, anyway, we're gonna start by, for our ears, we are going to start stitching to the second to the last row again, right in here, second to the last row. To the side, not too far from the eyes. And we want to stitch five going up. So starting from our second to the last row, and that's one, two, three. Four and five, like so. Again, we are gonna start stitching from our second to the last row, which is this one. So, this is our last row here, and we have our second to the last row, and we're gonna stitch starting from there going up five stitches. Our next row, so we want, so this is our front side where our, we are, we have, where we have our face. So let's turn it backwards like so. And we are gonna do five stitches in white. So that's one. So go to the next stitch. This is two, third stitch, three, fourth stitch, four. In this slip stitch here, we are gonna include it right here. And that's our fifth stitch. And now we want to um, do our um, we are gonna start with our body color. So go to your um, the same stitch for your last um, stitch of white. So the slip stitch here, and just grab one band, your colored band, and stitch it like so. And we just want we're just gonna go up. So that's one, two, three, 
for make sure while you are doing this your face is facing you five and six and what we are gonna do is we also want to so we have our last stitch here so as you can see you, there's um, your stitch here and you are you also see this thing here you want to insert your hook there so you have your stitch here and then a vertical line here then this hole here and another vertical line go to the hole and stitch one like so and what you're gonna do is just slip knot it so here is your last piece you wanna go down like that and slip knot it slip knot it in here To give it that, to give it this look. Let's look not it, not on top, but to the side of it, and just tuck that tail in. And what we're gonna do? So let we are not done with this one ear yet. So we want to go to this first stitch over here, and slip knot it in the cheek part. So you have your ear here the first stitch of your ear you're just gonna go to the side here and slip knot i hope i'm explaining that right hope i'm not being confusing in any way after that you're just gonna tuck your c clip i mean slip knot in and that's one ear done let's do the other ear so the same thing, go to your second to the last row and stitch 5 from there using white. That's one. Two. Three. four and five and face it um, turn it facing the face to you having the face face you <laughs> and stitch five going down using white still so that's one two three four and we're gonna include this here this slip stitch so that's our number five and we're just gonna go back to that same stitch and do with our turquoise our body color and slip stitch and just go our way up so this is one having the back of the face face us so that's one two three four five and six as you can see again we have this vertical line a uh, horizontal line with a hole inside and another vertical line you want to go to that hole and stitch oops like so and we are just going to make a slip knot by um, slip not um, going to the side directly here not up 
not upwards but to the side and slip knot and tuck the slip knot in and go to the first stitch of our bottom part of the ear and slip knot it to the side bringing it in so and that's how you do the face you guys I hope I was understandable throughout and if I wasn't in some parts, please pause the video or rewind or slow down. By far, the face is probably the hardest part for me because we have a lot of things to do like the attaching of the nose and doing the ear. So it's kind of a bit confusing. So I really hope that I was able to explain what I have to explain and show what I have to show you guys the best way I could. I'm really sorry if I am um, confusing. I'm being confusive to you guys. I really apologize in advance, but I really hope that I was being understandable. To make your ear rounded, by the way, you're just gonna um, push the inside and kind of pinch it going in. Push the inside and pinch both sides going in. So what we're gonna do now is stuff our head, but first uh, let's just uh, unclip our C-clip and put it. put this band to our hook in the in the body of a hook and grab our stuffing we don't need a lot we just have to put some shape onto our head and um, after this things go easily so it's not gonna be that hard anymore since the hard part is already done and I hope um, uh, you survived the hard part as well. So, yeah. Anyways, let's continue if you're happy with your the shape of your head. So, from the last row, we should have 10 stitches. Let's count if we still have 10 stitches. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, what we are going to do now is... Um, we're gonna decrease so our pattern for this row is a decrease three single decrease and three single so let's do our decrease first so decrease three single one Two, three. Make it four because we are decreasing to the side. So decrease four stitches, decrease and two stitches. One and two. And we should have eight stitches right now. So take your C-clip off, put it to the new band that's on your hook, and let's count if we have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Um, after this row, we are gonna increase around. So we are gonna increase all. And after we increase, we are gonna have um, 16 stitches. We're almost done. So let's just increase everything. This is the body now. So that's an increase. Increase around. I'm doing my increase 
still. And I hope you're doing your increase too. After you are done with your increases, just take your C-clip off and put the new band that's on your hook. Now let's count if we have 16 stitches. So this is how my koala is looking so far. So far so cute. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I hope that you have 16 stitches too. Our next row is going to be a single row around. So one single row around with 16. So I'm kind of fixing my face here. So let's do um, a single row around. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and um, 16. Take your C-clip off and put it to the new band that's on your hook. Our next row is a sing. We are going to start closing things off now. Um, our next row is our next row is single single and a decrease and let's do our single single decrease after this we are gonna have 12 stitches so single single decrease so let's go single single decrease single single decrease single single and decrease single single and decrease after that just take your c-clip off and put it to the new bands on your hook so now we should have 12 stitches so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 our next row is single and decrease and we're gonna end with nine stitches so that's single and decrease single decrease single decrease single 
and a decrease and after this we should have nine stitches and we're also gonna stuff so take your safe group off and put it in the band on your hook now let's count if we have nine stitches one two three four five six and eight nine um let's put stuffing because after this row we are gonna close the body and attach our arms and legs so just add your stuffing you don't need a lot you just have to add stuffing in order to have some shape to your body so shape your body my hook just fell anyway I think that looks quite good already I think I'm not gonna add more stuffing so you can kind of fix it and now let's decrease everything around so just decrease until it's closed Decrease till it's closed. And for your last decrease, you're just gonna slip knot it. Slip knot and tuck this slip knot inside. And give it a fix. So I fixed my baby koala situation here off camera and now let's attach our arms and legs let's do our arms first and we are just basically um, slip knotting them so it's not really hard so just go to the side of your piece and do the slip knot go to the side of your piece and slip knot And uh, tuck the tail in. After that, we just want to kind of putting put it forward like so. And we are just gonna slip knot again. Slip knot the f um, from part of our hand, arms, and slip knot in. Like so and that's what we're gonna do with all our arms and legs slip knot first from the back and slip knot the arm forward forward part and we're done do the same thing slip knot slip knot to the side first then tuck the tail in and then go forward and slip knot again the front part of your arm preferably going into the um, top band And then tuck inside. And now let's do our legis. Slip knot them to the side first. So, 
and tuck the tail inside and go forward and do your slip knot again and tuck and uh, our last leg Slip knot and tuck and go forward and slip knot. And tuck. <laughs> and we are done. Kinda fix it. I'm gonna fix this my arm. So that is it for today's video, you guys. Um, as you can see, I changed the position of the arms. I raised it up a bit and for the legs as well. So I stitch it like straight. And then I took the back side off and stitch it upwards. So that's how I did it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you were able to follow along with how to make this Lumi Gourmet Koala. I hope your koalas turned out cute. Um, if you make one, don't forget to post it. If you have Instagram, on Instagram and tag me, I will have my Instagram link below or on TikTok as well. I will be providing my TikTok link below as well. And use the hashtag Olympus the Loomer. So this has been Olympus the Loomer, you guys. I'd love to see your creation. Um, again, this has been Olympus the Loomer, you guys. I hope I was um, understandable throughout the video hope that there was no parts that I was confusing. Um, this has been Olympus the Loomer, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I love y'all! Thank you so, so much for watching.